Removing weld seams from square pipes requires finesse and know-how. For this, it is best to use the Inox angle sander with the hard black driving pad and the Velcro fabric disc with a ceramic grain K120. Remove the weld seam over a larger area. The driving pad should be held at as flat an angle to the workpiece as possible. Make sure, depending on the weld seam and the desired finish, that you polish as finely and slowly as possible. Then change to the red medium driving pad with the Trizact A100 Velcro fabric disc. Now, begin to remove the sanding marks caused by the ceramic grain disc. Move the driving pad over the whole area so that no ridges arise. Work on the two sides to the left and right of the miter joint consecutively in the direction of sanding. Move the machine slowly to keep the peak to valley height small. Sanding marks from 120 grain must be removed completely. Then change to the Trizact A45 Velcro fabric disc. Now repeat the process for the fine polish. Polish to beyond the edges of the sanded area and make the bevel just visible. Mask the bevel precisely with a self-adhesive stainless steel tape. Mount the orange folded sanding fleece ring on the Inox angle sander. Move the machine parallel to the frame side. Bring the finish to conformity through slightly increased pressure and faster movements in the direction of sanding. Pay attention to the rotational direction of the folded sanding fleece ring so that this does not run against the edge of the stainless steel tape. Remove the stainless steel tape and with this mask the area you have just sanded. Repeat the sanding process to achieve an exact miter and to bring the finish to conformity. To remove the corner seam, take the Inox angle sander again. Depending on the thickness of the weld seam, you will need the A45 or the A100 Velcro fabric disc with a medium hard red support plate. Sand down the corner seam. The right angle at the edge must be preserved here. Work with the machine at an angle of 90 degrees to the pipe in order to maintain the direction of sanding. The setting angle of the support plate for Velcro discs to the workpiece must be as flat as possible. The corner weld seam has now been removed. Replace the driving disc with the orange folded sanding fleece ring. Bring the finish to conformity through slightly increased pressure. Pay attention to the rotational direction of the folded sanding fleece ring. It must not knock against the edge. The corner has now been completely polished. In 80% of cases, the internal weld seam is left in place in the square tube and just the heat tent colors are removed. The angle sander is not suitable for removing the heat tent colors here as the gear head is in the way. The fillet weld sander, on the other hand, has a long neck which allows optimal operation. By means of the long neck of the sander, you can work flexibly according to the respective situation. To now remove the heat tent colors in the fillet weld, take the fillet weld sander with a hard-pressed fleece disc hardness grade 5. Move the fillet weld sander at a slow speed over the welding beads. Remove the heat tent colors to the side of the welding beads without using pressure. Take a Schleifix abrasive block to restore the finish so that the fillet can be reached completely. The front end of the abrasive block is trimmed to an angle of 45 degrees. Using strong pressure, you can now restore the original finish. The heat tent colors have now been removed. If the weld seam in the fillet is to be removed completely, you need the fillet weld sander again, this time with a hard-pressed fleece disc with hardness grade 7 and a high speed.
Make sure that the disc is moved exactly over the weld seam. Otherwise, hollows arise to the left and right of this, which cannot be polished out. Now change to the hard-pressed fleece disc, hardness grade 5, in 6 millimeters with a slow speed. Work on the weld seam and remove the heat tent colors on the left and right without using pressure. Take the Schleifix abrasive block to restore the finish so that the fillet can be reached completely. The front end of the abrasive block is here also trimmed to an angle of 45 degrees. Using strong pressure, you can now restore the original finish. The corner now has a complete polished finish.